We're gonna go over some banded stretches you can do to help get your shoulder into a better position. There's a couple concepts we wanna know about here. The one is that we wanna utilize a contract relax technique. When we get our muscle into a full stretch, if we contract it just slightly for five seconds and hold it, then when we turn that muscle off, it naturally inhibits and helps us to create more length and stretch it out a little bit more. The second concept is that when we get into that stretch position, to get some permanent changes, we wanna hold that stretch for two to three minutes at least. It could be longer than that if you're really trying to create big length of gains. Uh, but if you just do a, a 20 second or 30 second stretch, that's not really gonna create permanent changes the way we want it to. So what I have set up is a stretching band with a high anchor point. I just have it over the top of the door. If you have something up really high, you could use that, that'd be great. If you don't have a band that has a little stretch to it, you could use a belt or a strap. The contract relax technique is still gonna work. It's just uh, the band gives us nice feedback when we're trying to do that. Um, so it still works, you can still try that out. So the first thing when we're getting set up with all these techniques is we're gonna put our hand through the band completely so that the band is at the back of our wrist and then we're gonna grab both straps into the palm of our hand, right? And we wanna make sure that we keep an externally rotated position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that palm up and I'm gonna use my opposite hand to make sure I keep it locked. And as I step back, this gives me a nice stretch where I feel up the side of my trunk and I'm stretching over my head. Now, if I wanna do my contract relax technique, I'm trying to pull this hand down towards my knee and I'm pulling tension on the band. So it's just a light tension. I just wanna pull it down a little bit, hold that for five seconds. And then when I release it, it gives me a little more flexibility in my shoulder, right? And I'll do that two, three, four times until I get to a spot where I feel like that's as much as I can stretch. And now I wanna stay here for at least two minutes. All right, the next one, and I'm just gonna switch sides to make it easy for you guys to see, is I'm gonna put my hand through it and face away from it. Again, palm facing towards the ceiling, keep that rotated position. And as I step forward, and my arm's getting pulled back, my elbow's staying approximately 90 degrees. My motion here now is gonna try to pull my elbow down towards the front of my hip. All right, so if I pull forward on that, that puts that contraction. And then as I relax on it, it gives me a little release and gives me a little more flexibility. Do that two or three times, and then get to a spot and hold it for two minutes. So those are the two that I'm gonna do with an overhead anchor. Then what I wanna do is move it down to a lower anchor. So I'm gonna set it up just slightly above my hip height, but still below my shoulder height. So if I want to stretch the back of my shoulder, what I would do is, again, palm turned up here, and now I'm kind of turning away from the band here, and I wanna let my shoulder blade translate forward, so I feel that stretch between my shoulder blade and my spine. Right? And I get to a spot where I feel a stretch, and now if I need to do a contraction, I'm gonna pull that shoulder blade back, and that's gonna put tension in the band. And then as I relax it, it's gonna give me a little more mobility with that. And I do that a few times until I get to a spot, and then hold it two to three minutes. If I wanna stretch the front of my chest, right? same technique, palm turned all the way up. I wanna be turning away from it, so I feel that stretch in the front of my chest. And then if I wanna contract it, I'm trying to pull that arm forward and put tension on that band. So that's just a little bit of a tension there. And then as I relax it, it stretches it back out a little bit more. Okay, so same technique there. And then the last one, what we're gonna do is if I turn and face away, similar to the one we did before, but this time now I'm getting that same stretch here, but my elbow is at a much sharper angle, so I get more tricep involvement here. So I could be here, and uh, if I feel like this is my restricted area, my contraction is gonna be trying to pull that elbow back down towards my hip again, right? And then as I relax it, it gives me a little more motion there. But if I feel that my tricep is a restricted area, then I'm gonna to try to string my elbow out, like I'm pushing it up towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna push it up, right? Contract that tricep, and then as I relax it, it's gonna relax that a little bit more. Now, if I know my tricep is really restricted, I might even wanna move this anchor really far down uh, to the bottom of the door, because then it's really gonna give you that very sharp angle to stretch that tricep out. So if you understand that contract relax technique, you can use it with a stretching band, you can use it with a firm band. Uh, but you can use that at any time during your workout, before or after, to try to get you to a permanent elongation. Just remember to give yourself two to three minutes of stretching once you get to that position where you can tolerate it.